question for you. What is the greatest gift that God gave to us? Answer should be Jesus. Okay? John 3.16 for God's love of the world, that He gave His only begotten Son. Okay. Now, in Jesus, we talk about Jesus. There are two aspects of Jesus Christ that are tremendous gifts to us. Obviously, the one would be salvation. You got Ephesians two, eight and nine. Okay. This whole program of salvation, the whole way it works by grace through faith. All of that is a provision through Jesus Christ, who is the Savior. And so he provides salvation to us. That whole plan, the whole system, the whole provision is part of God's gift to us in Jesus Christ. Now another aspect of Jesus Christ, whom God has given to us, is the Word. Okay, John 1.1 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. Okay, talking about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is sometimes called the Word. And so we have here that God has given to us Jesus Christ. Also, part of giving Jesus Christ to us is the fact that He grants salvation and the fact that He gives us His Word. So these things have been given to us. Now my question for you now is, what is the purpose? What is the purpose of these two things, these two aspects of who Jesus Christ is and part of what God has given to us? What is the purpose we have here purpose. Okay? What is the purpose? The purpose is not primarily to get us to heaven, although that's part of salvation. The purpose, you know, is, is not, you know, out there somewhere. What is the purpose here on earth? What are we supposed to be doing with salvation and with the Word? That is my question for you. But before I answer that question, I want to go back here to salvation and the Word. You have these two things. Okay, these are aspects of who Christ is. How do we partake in these things? Okay, Ephesians 2, 8, 9. For by grace do you save through faith. And the word over here, Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. So you have faith is the instrument by which we connect with or use what God has given to us in Jesus Christ. So it's by faith we get into salvation. It's by faith that we understand what the Word says. And so the, the conclusion of all that, what is the purpose of God having given to us Jesus Christ with salvation and with the Word of God? What is the purpose of those things while we're here on earth? My answer to that question is good, good works. Good works are the purpose that we are supposed to be doing with salvation and with the Word. Oh, but you say that sounds a little legalistic there, Jeffrey! Perhaps you're getting a little carried away. But let me just go ahead and explain to you that Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 also has a 10 that comes after it. And Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 says, For by grace are you saved through faith, that not of yourselves this is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto Good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. You cannot do good works before salvation, but now that you are saved, you are created, in fact, to do good works. The Word of God. Okay? 2 Timothy 3.16 All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Thank you very much. Okay? That is the purpose of those things. And so you also have a verse like Titus 2.14, that we have been redeemed to do good works. Okay, So all that stuff is there. That's the purpose of salvation and of the Word of God. That's why He gave it to us, so that we might do good works while we're here. Now, how do you plug into salvation in the Word? By faith. Faith without works is what now? Faith without works is dead. Why? Because if you have faith and that has plugged you into salvation, and that has plugged you into the Word, the natural outcome of those things is good works. So if you don't have faith, you're not going to have good works. And if you do have faith, you are going to have good works, because what you're putting your faith in is salvation, and in the Word, all centered in Jesus Christ. And the end of that, good works. Learn it. Live it. Love it.